So today is decision day for most colleges. Some have changed because of the pandemic, but for many of us, it is still decision day. And during this crazy time, I thought it would be fun to bake cookies for my friends and drop off some celebratory cards. Um, during social distancing, I've had a lot of time to reflect on high school and my experience. I've grown up so much over the past few years and I'm still constantly growing. Even who I am right now is so different from who I was a year ago. So today I'll be baking and driving around. Um, specifically, I want to reflect on my experience with um, my reliance on accomplishments and productivity and general external validation for my self-worth. Freshman and sophomore year, I was kind of on this grind and I really try to push myself as far as I could academically. I remember my sophomore year, I went to a Model UN conference and I got my first award and I thought that it would be an amazing moment. You know, all my hard work would have paid off. And yes, I felt great in that moment, but then I got on the bus, I got back to my house and I cried. The high of the success wore off so quickly and I felt the exact same as I did before. In that moment, I truly realized that there was never going to be an achievement that was great enough or big enough to satisfy me. I would feel amazing for a little bit, and then I, I would get over it, and then it wouldn't be enough. And I wouldn't be enough. And for a long time, this was my drive. The fact that I wasn't enough kept pushing me to be more, to try to be enough. But I realized that that was an impossible goal. The summer before my junior year, I had the most fun in all of high school up until that point. I traveled a lot, I went to camp, I worked my first internship, and so much more. And for the first time, I truly felt like I was doing what I wanted to do, what I was passionate about, and I didn't need external validation. I wrote on July 8th, 2018. I think that I've learned so much this summer, and I'm, I've honest to God never been happier living in the moment is impossibly good for your mental health. It was all amazing and I thought I had finally quote unquote fixed myself. And then we got back to school and I immediately regressed. At the end of August, I wrote, as summer comes to a close, I must reflect upon my growth the past couple of months and how far I've come. Unfortunately, as school begins again, it is all too easy to fall back into self-destructive and self-deprecating habits. My need for a new mindset was satisfied over the summer, but I wonder if that was only the result of a lack of pressure, and if that my perpetual state of mind is always going to be negative. Does, in change, does a change in environment change my mental state, or is that just who I am? And as I regressed and as I spiraled, I also asked myself, how long are you going to let yourself continue this pattern? How long are you going to keep waiting for a time to be happy, or waiting for summer or something like that? It's so exhausting to live like that. Over winter break my junior year, I really began to change. I started reading Buddhist texts. I learned about letting go of what I can't control, about not taking rejection or suffering as a personal punishment, and about working through that pain instead of avoiding it. Possibly most importantly, I learned about seeing the bigger picture. Always throughout high school, the ultimate goal was college. Obviously, I knew that there was life beyond it, but it was really hard to fathom when you're 16, high school seems like the end of the world and college is the ultimate story to tie it all together. But I finally began to understand that high school and college are really just small specks in the long timeline that is my life. At the end of January, I wrote, there's a lot of new year equals new me ideology that comes with January, but I think that for the first time, my relationship with this ideology is more or less positive. I'm sick of feeling insecure and worthless all the time. I'm going to make a change. I know that growth isn't linear, and in December, I regressed a bit. That's two steps back, but this is four steps forward. This year is about growing self-worth. I started doing what I was really passionate about, and second semester junior year, I was pretty happy. I was still stressed out, but my mental state was so much better. I thought I had it all figured out. And then I began the college admissions process. My friends can attest to this. It sucked, and it really took a toll on my self-worth. I worked really hard on my application. I applied early decision to Brown, and in December, I got rejected. 
I thought I had grown out of my reliance on external accomplishments for my self-worth, but I hadn't seemed to be able to fully cut the tie that college had with my value. There was there were a lot of aspects to my reaction to the rejection. Um, first, I didn't even fully process that rejection was an option. For some reason, I only I thought that the only decisions possible would be either a deferral to regular decision or an acceptance. So I didn't even really think that this was something that could happen. Another thing was how much I truly thought I felt like I fit at Brown. I genuinely could not imagine myself anywhere else, and I thought that it was the place for me. I remember talking to a friend after that happened, and she asked me what my second choice school was, and I didn't have an answer. All of my other colleges at that time felt like they were on the same level. In retrospect, um, my application was really bad, and I'm not just saying that, I mean my application was bad, my essays were not good at all, and I completely changed everything before sending up my regular decision applications. The biggest part of the rejection, and the part that hurt the most, was the fact that I felt really, really embarrassed. I hadn't failed on something that big in a really long time, and something that I kind of felt like all of high school was building up to, and I didn't want to tell other people that I had been rejected. In that moment, I thought I gave it my all and my all wasn't enough, and I really avoided talking about it. One thing that I'm really proud of um, in my personality and for myself at that moment was my resilience. Um, after I was rejected, I did cry. I ate a lot of sushi and a lot of ice cream, but like later that night, I was already working on my next applications, and I really was able to work and continue pushing forward even after that setback. Um, but my confidence was definitely shaken. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm really glad that I wasn't accepted at the time. Not because I don't think I would fit at Brown, because I still genuinely feel like I did fit at that school, but I wasn't ready for it. Seeing my reaction to rejection back then, I don't think that I was emotionally mature enough at the time. I think that I needed that experience to grow. Yes, it really hurt me, but now I fully understand what it means to not take rejection personally. I truly know that I am a person beyond what's on my resume or what I can tangibly name. Continuing working on my applications after that rejection and still getting into an amazing school that I'm so excited about now um, made me realize that resilience is so key. I really believe that I can overcome setbacks now, and I have a lot more faith in myself. After that, every decision I received kind of didn't really have an impact on me. I was excited when I was accepted, rejections and late lists kind of felt like nothing. Now here I am at the end of my senior year, and I really appreciate my high school experience. Um, I'm really grateful for how much I've grown over the years. And I don't think I'm done growing. I will probably face another setback, and it might make me regress, ag regress again. But growth isn't linear, and I have faith I can come back. So here's to the future.